Hi, uh, in this video we will learn about how to create tab layout and view page to and then connect view pager with tab layout then also do setup with the jetpack navigation component so we will understand in this video so first I will go through with the list of tasks which I created so it's sequentially I will go one by one first number home fragment second number at tab layout and view pager to home fragment layout then third one is task listing fragment I will tell you about like why we need that fourth number is home fragger adapter then fifth number is nested group and sixth number is navigation action so let's go uh, with the first one then we will go to the second and so on so first I created a home fragment as you can see in the comment section I have divided the changes into different lists so it is easy to understand for you like which changes related to what currently I expanded the home changes list so I will go to the project section and their UI and home directory if you notice home fragment is created and also along with home fragment layout the, then in the second step as you see add table layout and view phaser to so you will find out tab layout and view pager too. I will discuss the login button later like why I shifted from the not listing fragment to home fragment. So currently as you notice like we have tab layout and view pager. So let's just go to the Kotlin class of home fragment. So in the Kotlin class home fragment I just need auth view model. So as I, as I mentioned that logout will be discussed later in this video. So let's just focus on view pager 2 and tab layout. So for, for the view pager 2 and tab layout, I created two extension type function. So one is for the tab, which will uh, indicate us like that tab is selected or not. So based on the selection, it will change the text color. So that is easily to understood like which tab is highlighted. If you see the emulator, so that one is selected. So if the text change, of the selected tab and the text of unselected tab is more obvious now user can easily under understand that that tab is selected and that one is unselected so that is how the change of the text color of the tab is happening in this function and that function is extension function okay then the second function is just nothing just an inline function which help us to attach the listener with the tab layout so I am already to lambda function as a parameter with the cross and line keyword so that will be invoked based on the action listener so let's just go to the vpager setup so that is where we need to attach the vpager with tab layout so we need tab layout mediator which accept two parameter and one lambda function so in the two parameter one is passing the tab layout and second one is the view pager then in the lambda function we are getting the tabs and position so there we are inflating a custom item tab layout that because we are modifying our own custom fonts and design with our own layout not just the default one so for this I created another layout which is called item tab layout in the item tab layout there is a text view declare so that text view already setting the custom font and text size along with other parameter as well so that is pretty much regarding the item tab layout then let's just go back to the home fragment so in the home fragment with the help of inflate function and layout flatter I am getting that layout in the object view so from the view I am getting the tab title then I am setting the tab text based on the positions so for the position 0 I am setting the nodes and for the position 1 I am setting the task if you notice I am using home tabs dot node dot index because I am utilizing their enums if I go to the constant class I created enum class with two parameters index and key so for the key for the key I am labeling with the text and for the index I am using simply integer that will refer to a tab position like for the zero position the tab will be called nodes and for the task position which is index one so that will be called on first position so that is pretty much regarding to the enum home tab 
class now to get back to the home fragment so we will so so we understood what is the home tabs dot not dot index index is nothing just gave us the index number so that is pretty much regarding to the tab layout mediator now one thing we did not discuss that that initially i want to select the first tab as a default selected like tab on selection true then the second one tab on selection false so as i told earlier this is the extension function which is responsible to get change the text color based on the this is selected if it's true or if it's not so there the condition is happening if it's true then it will pick the tab selected color if it's false then it will pick the tab unselected color in this class we discuss three different things one is the tab listener second one is the view pager to set up a tab layout and the third one is the tab on selection so that is pretty much regarding the uh, tab layout and view pager too now coming to the third step which is called task listing fragment i will go to the comments now for now i will collapse there and now expand there if you notice i have three files i think we are mistakenly put that file in the not listing fragment so i will shift that to home because that is related to the tab now we have two different files one is the kotlin class and one is the xml class now i will open the not task listing fragment so let's just see what's inside in that fragment so task not listing fragment i created and modified but i did not uh, wrote any logic or code yet because currently it's in pending status so we will utilize that fragment for the firebase database so that is pretty much regarding to the not listing let's just go to the xml file in xml file i just created a one text view so which indicates this like we are on the task fragment so the third step is also com complete now coming to the fourth step if you know or if you don't know for using the view pager or view pager 2 we require a pager adapter so that is exactly same like we declare a recycle view in xml but for loading data into recycle view we need adapter so that is how pager adapter works with the pager it's load the list of fragments we provided to that view pager in the inside view pager 2 now i will go to again the home fragment in the home fragment there i am attaching adapter that is exactly same like we are attaching adapter with the recycle view so for this i will open that class and let's just see what's inside in the home fragment what's inside the home pager adapter in the home pager adapter i am just giving a size of the enums which i created because in that enums we are creating fragment based on the tabs so currently we have two tabs that means the size is two now for the creating a fragment uh, based on the position i am just returning the instance of that fragment in the not listing fragment i have that function new instance if i click on it in the new instance i am just nothing just creating an instance but passing argument with the bundle and passing in one parameter as well now we'll coming again to the home pager adapter in the home pager adapter again there is another fragment task listing which created that function which gave us that instance so that is pretty much regarding to the home pager adapter so it will create two different fragments one is not listing fragment second one is task listing fragment and it will attach to the view pager now the fifth step is nested graph so let's just first understand what what is the current graph in the current graph we have list of five fragments like the login register and forget password login have three different actions so first action refer to the from login to register second one is from login to not listing fragment and third one is from login to forget password now for register we have one different action so from register to not listing and from not listing fragment we have one action so from not listing to not detail fragment so that is our current navigation graph so what i did to the current graph i created a nested graph with have different fragments let's just go to that nested graph fragment so in the nested graph if you notice like login register and forget password as it is same but the two different action is modified now the login previously it was referred to from login to not listing now this time it will refer to the nested graph which is called home navigation graph so same is the case for the register so it will refer to the home navigation graph now in the home navigation graph if we notice we have one fragment home fragment and we already know that what's inside in the home fragment it is tab layout and view pager the two other fragment which is not listing fragment and task listing fragment is added to that view pager adapter 
so that is pretty much regarding to the nested group so let's just go to the coding in the nested group uh, if you notice i created another file which is called home navigation then in the home navigation two different fragment one is the home fragment and one is the node detail fragment you must be surprised why the node listing fragment and not task listing fragment is not there that because we added these two fragments to the vplayer adapter so that's why we don't need it there i created this as a global action and why and what is the global action and why we needed that why don't we create just a simple navigation between the node listing fragment and node detail fragment let me tell you that because of if we go to the graph now when it's come to the node listing fragment and task listing fragment there is no action defined so that's because it's not coming under the navigation graph so it will throw an error and crash the app because the destination is not currently attached with any of the previous destination so that's why we created a global action so that's why we created a global action so we will refer to that action to navigate to the node detail fragment if i go to the this graph at this graph it's more obvious like coming to the home navigation graph if you see we have the home fragment so there is another line which which is connected to the global action and that global action refer to the node detail fragment if i go to the coding in the coding i declare in this way currently i added that fragment node detail fragment then i added a uh, action in the action i just added the destination so with the help of this id i will navigate to that action so that is pretty much regarding to the nested graph and navigation action so i guess so in this video we learn about table layout and view pager 2 and then home pager adapter and then nested graph and then global action so that is pretty much regarding to this video